Just a reminder that everything you see here on Gamers on Games is made possible by patrons like you. Why not check out our Patreon page? It would really help us out. Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at metalheadminis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at metalheadminis.com. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. And by viewers like you. This is Kelly Johnson from Gamers on Games, and I just wanted to talk about my experience at PAX Unplugged, a board gaming convention that was located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I recommend this convention for everybody, family, um, adults, kids, seniors, absolutely fantastic, wonderful convention. Um, everybody, all the vendors that I had a wonderful chance of talking to were absolutely fantastic. They were very nice, very sweet very open to talk about their games that are either being released or had already been out or have been out for so long. Um, there were so many different games that you could demo and just go up to a table and you can talk to the, to the vendors there as if you've known them for so long. The wonderful, wonderful compassion that these people have for their games and for the customers and guests that are coming in is absolutely fantastic. Um, this convention couldn't have been run any better. They did a fantastic job. I cannot wait to go back again. Um, one of the things I had the wonderful chance of playing uh, was a game called Dust 1947, a war game, which was definitely out of, out of my comfort zone. Uh, normally, I don't play war games. Uh, I have trouble kind of learning how to play them, how they're um, essentially constructed or how their um, how the gameplay is everything essentially behind on how to play it the counting the um, the amount of you know sh I guess strategic or whatever I was <laughs> whatever I'm trying to say um, I I've tried playing a couple of other war gaming games and I just couldn't get the grasp of them but dust 1947 was insanely different. Um, for me, it was so easy to learn. Gregory did a fantastic job being so patient with me. <laughs> and um, I had the wonderful chance to play with uh, Blake Johnson, who also is a gamers on game um, worker. And uh, it was a wonderful game. Um, I recommend playing it. I recommend um, anybody who's brand new with the war gaming community, this is a great first game to play. Uh, it's so easy to learn, it's so much fun to play, and the wonderful artistic and um, just everything about it was fantastic. Gregory, again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule at PAX Unplugged to show me how to play this game. Um, I can't wait to play it again. My husband and I will definitely be buying the factions that we had recently played, if not more, uh, to get more comfortable with the game, and hopefully we can play you again at PAX Unplugged. And for those that are watching this, I hope you can give PAX Unplugged um, a try next year. Absolutely wonderful convention. Great for family. Great for anybody of all ages. Um, wonderful, wonderful convention. And if you go, I hope to see you there next year. Bye. Hey guys. Blake Johnson here from Gamers on Games. Uh, just doing a little after PAX report. Um, PAX was awesome, first time going. Uh, we'll probably go again next year. Um, did my first game of Dust, uh, thanks to Greg. It was really nice. Uh, played as the SSU. My wife played as the Mythos. Um, she seemed to really enjoy that faction. I really enjoyed the SSU. 
Um, if, I re if I do get into dust, I will probably play SSU. Uh, either Steel Guard, which is probably what I want to do. Um, or just pretty much buy everything SSU and just do a mixed force, armored, infantry, air. I did also did play in a uh, event at PAX Unplugged where I got to actually use uh, Dave Nighthawks or Dave Simpson's uh, SSU that he brought with him. Uh, air unit, ground units, infantry. It's pretty fun. Pretty accessible, pretty simple to learn, pretty easy. Um, yeah, all the people we interviewed, it was really good, really nice. I uh, had a lot of fun, everyone there had a lot of energy. You know, we didn't have a single bad experience. Uh, it's very noisy, but that's to be expected of a couple hundred thousand people. You know, playing games, talking to people, just taking it all in. Uh, first day there, you know, we uh, we got held up with everybody that was already in, um, just because of how big it was. But you know, the next couple days, where you know, we got there, we got through the uh, the metal detectors, and once we were in, we were in. Got an exhibition hall pretty quick. Got to see everybody, see all the stuff on sale, you know, demo a bunch of games, uh, see a bunch of Kickstarter stuff. And overall, PAX Unplugged is really fun.